Hi, I'm Mark Mancini with Vera Be Outstanding, coming to you with a Vera Be Outstanding Micro Tip of the Week. So one of the features I'll talk about next is an outdoor shower. I wouldn't exactly call it an amenity, it's a feature. This is an outdoor shower. On the other side of this wall is our tankless water heater. We have hot and cold water for it. Down below we have a spigot to wash off your feet. Now it drains right here into the ground. One thing you'll see is some holes around here on the concrete. You'll also see some bolts over here and a little chip out of the concrete as well. And that's in two or three different spots here around the shower. Now what this was, the previous owner during Hurricane Irma, uh, Hurricane Irma removed it for them. And uh, they never put it back. In fact, we cut the bolts down, made it a little safer for our guests. But it's something where um, here at the Oasis, we like the outdoor shower with outdoors. Now, this is great for rinsing off before and or after going into the pool, but uh, you don't really have the privacy. Now, since most of the people who rent here, usually it's just two people or four people, um, we sometimes come here way, the way the outdoor shower is. Over to the right, I've got the Atlantic Ocean and really no one can see us. There's a hotel on the other side here, but no one can see us. So it's very common for us to use this and go naked. The only people that can see you though, are people in the guest house. So you either want to be here alone or alone. So um, the nice thing about this though, it, it's, it's really nice to be out here, be able to take a shower. And it's to me, outdoor showers are very special. And it's not only me, I know my nephew, we grew up, we had a Long Beach uh, beach houses, Long Beach Island, New Jersey. Beautiful place. Uh, I call it the crown jewel of the Jersey Shore. It is just gorgeous there. And with the, um, uh, the outdoor showers, he actually will take outdoor showers there, not only in the summertime, but in the wintertime when he goes there to visit his beach house, he'll take showers outside in December. He doesn't care. Um, he just, he does it all the time. What's great about it though, one of the things to think about, if you don't have as many full bathrooms as you'd like, an outdoor shower becomes usable. Now granted, <clears throat> you want to probably have one that's built with treks or polywood for privacy. I wouldn't use wood, I'd use those, those faux wood type um, setups. And then this way, you have a, another full shower to use. You might think, well Mark, how many people use this? It's not only my nephew, and he's not crazy, I enjoy taking showers outside as well. This is a very utilizable shower. My wife uses it all the time as well. So it's something where uh, I think if you can build one, and it's pretty easy. We have plumbing, plumbing on the other side of this wall. There's a washer and dryer behind here. So to drop a line in and put a shower in is really pretty cheap and easy to do. And again, any other place but here, I would say, build a piece of wood and uh, 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 enclosure, I should say, and, and have some privacy. And this is another viable shower for people to use. So it's an overlooked uh, attribute for a home. That I think it's a, it's a great thing to have. Again, you want your guests to wash off before they go in the pool, because if they have suntan uh, lotion on, or if they were in the ocean and have ocean water on them, you don't want them to introduce black algae into your pool. So you always make sure that your guests or showering beforehand. And after they're done, if, even if it's a saltwater pool, they wanna clear out the saline and everything from them and, and just have a, a cleaner look, or like I said, be able to wash your hair here as well. So something that I think people take for granted, but it's very useful, very practical, is an outdoor shower. That's your V or B outstanding tip.